came by today to see you Oh, I had to let you know My name is Bailey Walker and I have a family member who passed away from uh, bacterial meningitis. My younger sister recently passed away. Um, she was um, immunized for uh, meningitis. She had two um, immunizations. Um, she once when she um, got her citizenship from Canada and once when she was going to school because it's required by their school, um, Ohio University. And she had bacterial meningitis and there's about 12 different strains. The doctors told us there are about 12 different strains of bacterial meningitis. And um, the immunization only covers four of them, and she had one of the types that isn't covered by the um, vaccine or the immunization. And uh, yeah, I don't know, it's just something that you don't really realize how serious meningitis is. Like people kind of blow it off, like maybe I don't need that shot, maybe I don't need this immunization. And uh, it's, I guess it's not as common as other diseases. Um, I mean, it literally happened overnight. She thought she had the flu. She went to the hospital. She had 104 fever, and on her way, being transported from one hospital to another, she went to a coma, and they weren't able to um, uh, put a ventilator in, in time, and they think that's when she passed away. And, um, I, I mean, there's flu-like symptoms, but it can obviously be fatal because it involves your brain, so um, I, it's just really important that people get these immunizations because obviously you don't realize that something like this would ever happen, but people can slip away from you from something like this in near hours. So I just think it's very important that people get this. Vicksburg family is devastated tonight after losing their six-year-old daughter to bacterial meningitis. One minute, Bashante Washington was asking for a chicken sandwich. The next, she was on life support. Dane County public health officials confirming the death, saying the victim was a 16-year-old girl who was healthy. This is um, rather typical of meningococcal disease, is that it strikes people who are perfectly healthy, um, have very much at random, uh, in a very unpredictable kind of way, and proceeds very rapidly. and. Uh, very, very serious illness can ensue uh, within 24 hours. I'm Amy Purdy, and this is my story of how I survived meningitis. I remember feeling great that day. Nothing was out of the ordinary, and I just started to feel sick. Nothing too bad, but like a flu. The next morning I stood up at one point and realized my feet were purple, my hands were purple, my nose and cheeks were purple, and my chin was purple. They rushed me in and didn't think I was going to make it another two hours. My lungs had collapsed, my veins had collapsed, my blood pressure was nothing. They realized that my spleen was about ready to burst. It was ten times its normal size. And at one point I asked the nurse if I was dying and she said, we're doing everything we can to save you. And I remember being in surgery, and I had a choice if I wanted to stay or if I wanted to go. And I made the choice to stay. That was kind of the beginning of my new life. They had to amputate both of my legs below the knee. And it was, you know, incredibly challenging to even wrap my head around the idea that I don't have legs anymore, but yet, I was ready to take that challenge on and, and move forward with my life and figure out a way to do the stuff that I love to do. I started thinking about snowboarding. Like I visualized myself being strong and healthy and helping other people. I do a lot of events where I talk about meningitis prevention and vaccination. As happy as I am with my life right now, I know that I'm lucky. I'd hate for someone to go through what I had to go through especially when there's a vaccine that could help prevent when I try to make it make sense in my mind the only conclusion I come to is a heaven
You.、Mm-hmm.